Welcome back. Welcome. Happy birthday. Hey, almost. Thanks. Tomorrow. 42. Good job. I got shoes older than you. Hey, oh. <laughs> yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> They're outdated. Um, some reflections on uh, car week. So today is the 26th of August. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's the 27th, your birthday. That's right. On happy birthday, Amy Herzog as well. Today's her birthday. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, anyway, um, reflections on car week 2022. It was a challenging week. I wanted mm -hmm. to thank the police department, uh, uh, Chief Ward and his team, and community activities, of course, Ashley, Leslie, um, Margie, and Public Works for all the extra effort. It was a, again, it was a, a, a challenging week thanks to all the well-behaved visitors that we mm -hmm. had. And I, I have like car week hangover. Yeah, um, I don't know if it was because people had like bottled up whatever from you know COVID the last couple of years and this yeah. kind of felt like the first year where everyone was going full out and it just kind of exploded or what but it had a different had a different feeling yeah, this year and yeah I mean I think that's the point of talking about it thanks 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 Mary Schley for writing the uh, very um, comprehensive article on on the week and some of the challenges that the village experienced we're doing a hot mop right now uh, Chief Ward will be uh, talking to his team and then uh, key members of the executive team will be getting together to make a report to council after action report. Um, things can go better. We had some very, un we talked about this last mm -hmm. week when I was pretty fired up about some untoward behavior. We had some, uh, some, some less than polite guests. They're not even guests. We had some less than polite uh, visitors. But we had some great guests as well. Mm -hmm. So you're always welcome here if you're going to be a polite, well-behaved yeah. guest. We had some less than well-behaved people in the village. And uh, as you saw in the pine cone last night, um, we arrested a lot. We, mm -hmm. gave, we, we, uh, <laughs> we issued a lot of citations. Mm -hmm. The police were out in force. Well, and I guess that's the upshot, right? Is like, again, going back to the kudos to all of our teams that were involved in the police and everybody else. Like, great job for handling that because it could have got out of hand very quickly very and quickly and, and we're gonna we're gonna be looking at at uh, again lessons learned I mean part of the part of the benefit is the self-reflection very critical uh, self-reflection that we need to do about what we can do better next year mm -hmm. to help keep the village safe as usual we heard uh, we heard from some uh, some people that uh, they thought that the traffic diversion was overkill and the barricades and the car stoppers and we heard from a lot of residents who said thank you for keeping uh, the village safe and and maybe it's uh, maybe we need to do a little bit more so the punchline is that we'll be eventually going to council to get some policy direction on on when we set up those uh, that traffic diversion and how we can do better at keeping the village safe. So mm -hmm. anyway, hopefully we'll get over this uh, this hangover. Tell us what you think, though. Yeah, I think Ashley's going to do a quick non-scientific uh, anecdotal survey mm. um, uh, that you can write in uh, anonymously or not to tell us what what you thought of the week. But again, feel free to call or write anytime um, with your thoughts. Um, no one's shy. I've, I've gotten some good feedback yeah. so far. Um, just moving on from uh, uh, Car Week, on September 13th, the council will have a, a council meeting. Again, we're going to go through the council priorities. We'll have a written update on those, and we're going to take a look at our Beach Fire pilot program. Uh, no decision, just to get some direction from council, and we'll bring back a decision at a later date. So that's what I got, buddy. What do you got, birthday boy? Uh, what do I got? Um, big news. So the wireless ordinance, the draft wireless ordinances, three of them went out this week. Mm -hmm. um, they're available online on our website. Yep. Um, I sent them out via our constant contact. So if you've signed up on our website to get involved, uh, you can get you can get updates. So they went out to that list of people that have previously signed. It's almost 200 folks that have signed up for that, which is great. Great. Um, and then also. I'll put it, uh, the link in today's Friday letter as well. Thank you, thank you. These are drafts only. Oh, they they're, they're drafts. They're drafts only, that's correct, thank you. Uh, meaning that they're subject to change from feedback from the Planning Commission, feedback from the community, um, even us. You know, if we, if we get and you know, we hear some comments, we think, oh, maybe we could change this, make it a little better, cha change and make it different, we will. So we're going to the Planning Commission September 14th. Definitely want everyone to come and get involved. Planning Commission still hybrid only or virtual only, so it's a Zoom meeting. Um, but please do uh, comment and let us know what you think or send comments ahead of time. They're out there. It's three ordinances, so it'll take you a little bit of time to read. That's why we sent it out so early, about three weeks in advance, mm -hmm. uh, which is far, far more in advance than we normally do for a Planning Commission agenda. But I thought the time was important and the community had asked for it. And so. just to confirm, 
on the 14th of September, there is no decision. You're looking for feedback from the community and from the Planning Commission. That's correct. The, the most that might happen at the Planning Commission meeting is the Planning Commission will make a recommendation on the ordinances to the City Council and then we'll move forward to City Council. But it's possible the Planning Commission could make suggested changes and then we come back to the Planning Commission again. So it's gonna be up to the Planning Commission whether it comes back a second time. Great, Yeah. great, thank you. Yeah, um, some exciting upcoming events, the Sandcastle Competition. The Great Sandcastle The Great Sandcast can uh, Sandcastle Competition, September 17th from eight to two. If you plan on building a Sandcastle, please make sure you come into Community Planning and Building, get a permit ahead of time. I'm just kidding. You don't need a permit to build a sandcastle. That was a good one, huh? Design review. Yeah, just a design review. No, you don't need anything. Please come and enjoy the sandcastle competition. It's really wonderful. Open to all families. Uh, we encourage people. Bribes are uh, encouraged. Uh, <laughs> bribe the judges. Uh, this is an, an annual event. I think this is the 56th. Yeah, and it's been off for two years now. So it's exciting. Yeah, so we, we do this with our local chapter of the American Institute of Architects. So it's a great partnership. Yep. And then last note, just keep everyone heads up, Labor Day is coming up, so our offices will be closed. The City Hall offices will be closed on September 5th, that's Monday. Mm -hmm. um, critical services still in place, police, fire, yeah. ambulance, public works, uh, code compliance, all that stuff will be around if you need us. Um, but the City Hall offices will be closed on Labor Day. Right on. And that's what I got. Hope you have a good weekend, buddy. Thank you very much. Call you later, Grandma. I love you. Take, Take good, good care. care.